In the Red Bull Air Race World Championship is extreme in many ways. The high G-forces require the pilots to constantly stay in the best possible shape. Physical conditioning is a key factor, but there is more to it. It's really hard to explain uh, the G-force. When we say 10G, that's 10 times the force of Mother Earth. It's like a house sitting on your chest. It's trying to collapse your lungs and everything else. And then all the blood that's up in your head is trying to be down in your body. You need to keep uh, as much blood as possible in your brain. My heart has to continue to function and pull the blood that's getting the same force on it, pull it out of my legs, up to my heart, and push it back up to my brain so my brain is getting the oxygen it needs to make good decisions and stay conscious. Under the Red Bull Air Race, when we're pulling hard high G turns at a very fast speed for a long time, we need some artificial help. The G suit is very good. It gives you about a one and a half to two G cushion and benefit, if you like. It's not a magic suit. So this is the suit that all of the 12 Red Bull Air Race pilots are wearing. One of the ways that the suit really works well is it allows the pilot to relax just a little bit while they're flying. And the principle is, as we're sitting there as pilots, Pulling G, the centrifugal force forces the blood down, but also we have fluid muscles, and that's how the G suit works. There's fluid muscle in the back and in the front, and as the fluid goes down, it compresses the legs, presses the fluid and the blood back up into the body and keeps the pilot conscious. Both physical fitness and the G suit help the pilots to cope with the extreme conditions during competition. Nothing, however, is more effective than airtime. To combat the effects of G-force, what you need to do is pull Gs. You know, it's like uh, anything else, you know, you gotta exercise that, and that's what you're exercising. So you gotta get in the airplane and pull Gs.